Welcome to the Dreamlands. And we're back checking out some more Homeworld Remastered Multiplayer. This time around, it's going to be a 2v2. And we are on an interesting map I've never seen before. It is called Serum Badlands. I got this from a map pack. Uh, if I can find the link, I'll link it in the video description. It's got some really, really dope ass maps on it. So let's just get our bearings here. So we are going to have north south spawns. So we'll do yellow team first, spawning on south side of the map it is going to be yellow team and first up we are going to have greppy greppy is a player that you guys should be familiar with from the deserts of karak community one of the top players uh, of all time in dok very very strong player he's rather new to homeworld remastered uh, so he will be making his debut on the channel for this game which is very very exciting and his ally spawning in as the vagar so he's playing as a garen Spawning in as the Vagar, it is going to be Fear once again on the channel. You guys will remember Fear uh, from previous casts or games if you are into this uh, multiplayer community. A very, very strong player. One of the best players I've seen personally. So he is making his return alongside Greppy. Now spawning on the north side of the map, Red Team. First up, we are going to have Echo7. It's a player making their debut on the channel. Uh, from what I understand, Echo is a very strong homeworld player. So, pretty excited to have him making his debut. He's going to be playing as the Tidan. And his ally, also as the Tidan, once again returning to the channel, it is going to be Xenofix. A player that is very, very strong and steadily improving, actually. Playing some top-tier players and able to hold his own, making constant improvements in the game. So, this is pretty damn awesome. We should have a very good match on our hands here. And while the action gets underway, let's check this map out. Looks like we got some dust clouds all over this bad boy. Uh, some dust clouds wrapping around through the middle of the map as well as both spawn locations. That's pretty interesting. You can see them outlined here. Uh, looks like it has a fairly standard um, RU layout. We've got rings around each uh, spawn location, a main for each player, an ex a natural expansion for each player, and then an expansion further out, as well as a couple of resource patches uh, close to mid. So what have we got? We're just going to have to see this team's chat, and that's fine. That's going to be Fear and Greppy. So Xenofix has sent his carrier out. He has saturated his main. He does have his research ship on the field, and he has sent his carrier out to a far resource patch, saturating that. Similarly, Echo has done the same. Research ship out, saturated his starting location, as well as natural expansion so Xeno expanding into mid and echo expanding rear we already have a little bit of skirmishing going on here between some scouts from Xeno fix as well as some scouts from greppy nothing super important greppy has saturated his main he also has his carrier sent to his closest expansion site and has saturated that fear as his carrier out front here he has saturated his natural with a mobile refinery saturated his main and it looks like he has a second carrier coming out onto the field what is he producing it looks like assault craft by the looks of it those are greppy scouts a second carrier is it going to be the good old uh, assault frigate rush All right, we have Corvettes on the field now. Gunships from Greppy coming in to support his scouts. It looks like he was able to take the first engagement with a superior number of scouts. Gonna clean up all of Xenofix's scouts and now there are gunships on the field. Meanwhile, we do have a number of probes fanned out across the map, both teams keeping tabs on each other. And we have light Corvettes from Echo as well as light Corvettes from Xenofix. So mass Corvettes coming out from these two players. I suspect we'll see some frigate play from Fear, uh, very similarly to what he did in that previous game with mass gunships by the looks of it for Greppy. Gunships and scouts, both carriers now coming out to mid for Fear. Looks like he has uh, acquired a third resource location and is currently saturating that. Can he hold this mass look at all of these corvettes jesus christ echo 7 with enormous numbers of light corvettes uh and similarly xenofix with an enormous number of light corvettes as well both players look to be on two resourcing locations fear the only player on three 
let's check this out while we have a moment. One of my favorite ships in the entire game, the Vagar Carrier. Just looks so goddamn awesome. Uh, now that I have the time, I will also mention that all of my... I forgot to mention this in previous casts, but all of my Homeworld Remastered casts are on the 2.3 Players patch, which, to my knowledge, was a patch started by Gearbox. Uh, they were intending to have a very large patch uh, follow up the 2.1 patch, and it was 2.3. However, they never released it for uh, apparently stopping any kind of support in the game. So I do believe that Cloaked, one of Homeworld Remastered's premier uh, multiplayer players, uh, has taken all of that. He was involved in testing, so he took that and then finished what they were doing and released it. It's on the Steam Workshop. I will find the uh, link and I will post it in the video description of all of these. It's pretty much the standard mode that everybody uses in multiplayer, so all of my casts are on 2.3. I will perhaps cast other mods and other game modes, and when I do, I will make that clear, and I will provide the uh, appropriate links Man, all oh, both of these teams are just macroing up currently. We do have heavy missile frigates on the field, so it was not assault frigates; it was heavy missile frigates for um for fear. Heavy missile frigates and lance fighters. Beautiful composition. Let's check this out here. Lance fighters being pretty darn effective against corvettes, and heavy missile frigates being pretty much disgustingly powerful against any capital ship. So. Nice composition from Fear. It's going to back up what Greppy has pretty nicely and counter pretty nicely what their opponents seem to have, which is just ridiculous amounts of Corvettes. Is this all light Corvettes? Looks like it is. Still light Corvettes, just a ridiculous number of light Corvettes. Uh, light Corvettes and heavy Corvettes being mixed in now by uh, Xenofix, and it looks like he is pushing out our eyes peeled on what's going to happen. This is going to be probably the first big engagement of the game. Xenofix pushing out with scouts, light corvettes, and heavy corvettes. And it looks like all of the lance fighters from Fear are moving to support the gunships and pulsar gunships from Greppy. He's actually abandoning that side of the map for some reason. It's going to be just the lance fighters moving in. Let's see how effective these units actually are versus all of these Corvettes. You know, Fix is just going to ignore all of these units and make a mad dash for Greppy's resourcing. Let's make sure we don't have another big engagement going on on the other side of the map. We don't, so we can focus entirely on this one. These Lance Fighters are doing pretty damn good. Look at them clean up all of these light Corvettes. Supported as they are by a number of Pulsar gunships from Greppy. That is going to get shut down pretty much exclusively. Uh, not really able to do any damage. So beautiful response from Yellow Team here. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we have a small push coming in. And it may lead into a much bigger engagement. What is this? We've got heavy Corvettes from Xenofix engaging all of Greppy's forces here, all of his gunships and Pulsar gunships are going to move in, clean this up in short order, and allow Fierce Heavy missile frigates to push forward and try and do some pressure onto the giant blob of Echo. He's got heavy corvettes and light corvettes as well. couple more heavy missile frigates coming out from fear. Is he going to bring back all of his lance fighters, of which he has a ridiculous amount now? Um, Xenofix took it beating. That entire force of his got absolutely destroyed. Those lance fighters appear to be pretty darn good. What have we got here? Heavy missile frigates moving in for some... What are they going to attack here? Got to keep my eyes on this giant corvette blob. Got some bombers on the field now by the looks of it. This is Echo 7 with some bombers. Going to start putting out some pretty big damage onto these heavy missile frigates. 
and it looks like the forces of Xenofix are going to collapse on these with enormous number of heavy corvettes now. Repi moving in to support, but the Jaws of Death are closing. Echo 7 coming back, baiting out the flank and then coming back around. Looks like this push is going to get cleaned up. I got to get this on here so I can see the exact number of troops, enormous numbers of light and heavy corvettes, as well as some attack bombers going up against all of these gunships, Pulsar gunships, and a couple of heavy missile frigates. This is going to be a very nice battle. Let's just watch this beautiful display. Oh man, that one heavy missile frigate just got focused down. All the Lance Fighters now coming in, now the battle has been joined, and they're gonna start popping off Corvettes like crazy. These things are very strong, holy Christ. Just the sheer numbers of Corvettes, though, look at this battle, this is madness. These Lance Fighters are doing really, really well, though. Backed up as they are by more and more Pulsar gunships from Greppi. Lance Fighter and Pulsar gunship. Meanwhile, on the other side, a big push coming out from a number of heavy missile frigates. They're going to try focusing down... What are they going to try focusing down? This assault frigate, perhaps, which just spawned from uh, Echo. He does have bombers on it, though, so they are eventually going to get cleaned up. Drawn away from the main engagement. Look at this engagement. Holy Christ. They're going to try and kill this carrier by the looks of it. They might be able to do it, actually. This is a very, very crucial moment for the game. Oh, there's just not enough damage coming out. One heavy missile frigate is probably going to go down momentarily. A second one at about half health. A third one at half health. Oh man, it is going to be very, very close. Is that engagement going mid? Greppi and Fear are being overwhelmed by just the sheer number of light corvettes, heavy corvettes, and interceptors now. A couple of bombers in there as well. They're slowly being pushed back by numbers. Fear is desperately trying to kill this carrier. It's going to be so close. We need to see what happens here. This is a clutch moment in the game. The main battle is turning against the yellow team in the center of the map. Once we see what happens here, we can go back to it. Oh, the last heavy missile frigate. It goes down. So, not able to take out that carrier. Meanwhile, carry, looks like Greppi has a second carrier on the field. Two carriers from... Is that two? Yeah, it is. Two carriers from Greppi and two carriers from fear right in the thick of things we'd have a number of heavy missile frigates and assault frigates from fear mixing in assault craft now all of his lance fighters got cleaned up by the looks of it is barely holding on with all of these frigates. Would have got so many heavy corvettes from Xenofix, attack bombers, light corvettes, and interceptors as well. So, mainly corvettes still. Gravwell generator on the field from Echo 7. Neither of those, Homeworld 1, neither Tidan player seems to have a second carrier on the field. Not surprising, they're expensive and take a really, really long time for the Homeworld 1 factions. guy looks like he's in a nice spot to view. Just the sheer numbers. All of these Corvettes is overwhelming. Even though Fear has a distinct tech advantage, uh, all of these 
frigates are not dying, but they're just getting swarmed, overwhelmed, and pushed back. Repi continuing to stream units out onto the field with more and more gunships, more and more Pulsar gunships. And Red is pushing. They're not able to take mid yet, though. They won't be able to break Yellow Team just yet. Let's get a little bit of an overview on what's happening on the battlefield. Let's check out these Pulsar gunships moving in. Oh, that looks like three carriers. Yes, we have three carriers on the field now for fear. Pushing ever closer to uh, Red Team's starting location. Looks like it's swinging once again in Yellow Team's favor. Oh, we do have a destroyer now on the field for Greppy. Distinct tech advantage now for Yellow Team. What is Red Team going to do about this? They can't stay on... Um, oh, he's already got frigates on the field. They can't stay on Corvettes too too long oh no that's fear again with these heavy frigates heavy missile frigates moving directly in to attack oh my god i missed this fear being very aggressive trying to stem the tide so sending all of his heavy missile frigates over here to do a big push against echo now has ion cannon frigates on the field to try and counter that so many casualties suffered on both sides but it looks like yellow has somehow manage to win out in mid and are pushing really really hard red team is pushed back all the way to their front door three carriers from fear knocking at their front door a carrier moving forward from greppy as well as a destroyer mass pulsar gunships from greppy oh lord look at this very nice counter some excellent micro from fear coming out splitting his heavy missile frigates to cover all sections of the map, pushing a few of them forward. Greppy as well, supporting with all of these Pulsar gunships. Xenofix is in a lot of trouble. He does have his second carrier on the field, but currently all he's got is light corvettes, heavy corvettes, uh, and interceptors by the looks of it, and that's not going to be able to handle this number of frigates and Pulsar gunships. Xenofix is slowly being picked apart, his carrier coming under massive amounts of fire now from all of these Pulsar gunships. Can Red stem the tide? It's on to Red now. The destroyer has finally made it to the front line, and this is going to be a pretty big problem. Oh, but we have a destroyer for Echo as well. Just in the nick of time, this destroyer and a couple of ion cannon frigates backing them up. It looks like one of Xenofix carriers went down. I don't see it on the field anywhere. Let's take a look here. No, indeed, one of Xenofix carriers did go down. Big victory for Greppy on this side of the map. The destroyer is now getting focused down. However, a number of ion cannon frigates and a destroyer backed up by a defense field frigate from Echo. TAC bombers even flanking out this destroyer. That thing is going to go down in short order. Beautiful pickup for Echo. 
Xenofix is still in a ton of trouble. He is just getting swarmed by Pulsar gunships, and there's nothing he can do about it, really. Pulsar gunship's gonna flank around now and start focusing down these frigates. Both field frigates are coming under fire now from the Pulsar gunships. They're gonna get popped eventually. Xenofix second carrier almost down. More Lance fighters now streaming in from um, Fear. Uh, Xenofix is in so much trouble. Jesus, look at this. He's got missile corvettes now from Fear, cleaning up all of his resourcing. So Xenofix has been pretty much entirely cleaned up. All of his army is totally destroyed. This one carrier is barely hanging on. All of his resourcing has been cleaned up. He's in a very, very desperate spot. Can Echo keep him in this game by taking some of the pressure off of him? Echo does have a number of attack bombers making a run at some of these frigates and capital ships and trying to push Team Yellow off. Too many Pulsar gunships though, look at this. This is insanity. They're even going to eventually overwhelm this destroyer too. Destroyer goes down. What is that? Xenofix does have a destroyer on the field now. He does have a number of heavy corvettes. He's gonna be able to hold. Or is he? No, Greppy and Fear are just continuing the push with mass pulsar gunships backed up by heavy missile frigates. Uh, at this point, I think it's only a matter of time before Xenofix is entirely cleaned up. Man, I love those Pulsar gunships. They're just so damn cool. <laughs> Alright, so Xenofix is, for all intents and purposes, out of the game. What have we got over here? Missile Corvettes now from Fear, swimming all the way around the backside of the map, cleaning up all of the resourcing of Echo. So Echo's in big trouble too. Uh, I don't see much that he can do to get himself back in this game. Xenofix barely hanging on. Echo looks like he's been entirely cleaned up. He does have a destroyer way, way out here though trying to draw away all of these units. So, Ion Cannon, frigates on the field now for Greppy. Gonna have to divert those forces to chase this destroyer. Meanwhile, Fear with four carriers. Good God, look at this. That is actually an awesome sight. Four Vega carriers pushing now, looking to close the deal on Xenofix. He is being swarmed by Pulsar gunships and the mass bulk of the Vega fleet bearing down on him. Look at all these heavy missile frigates. His destroyer is going to get popped momentarily. Way, way too much firepower. Not much he can do to stem the tide. Boom, there it goes. Missile destroyer on the field for Echo. Zeno calls the GG. Unsurprisingly, he has no economy. He has no army. All he's got is his flagship, which doesn't look like it's very long for this world with this number of heavy missile frigates bearing down on it. This mass pulsar gunship play was pretty awesome for Greppy. I have to commend him on that. I really, really enjoyed those Lance Fighters as well at the beginning of the game. That was very interesting. And then, of course, the final epic charge. <clears throat> Those missiles from the uh, missile destroyer are pretty damn awesome. But it's only a matter of time before that thing gets cleaned up. Far too many Pulsar gunships. <laughs> Look at all these frigates, too. Holy smokes. Ah, there's just nothing that uh, that red team can do at this point. So, very, very nice game. Congratulations to Fear and Greppy 
for taking it after a very epic battle. Well played to all players. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this game. I hope you guys did as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. What a battle. That was insane. So we're just going to watch the last of this battle play out. And then uh, that'll be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and I will see you for the next video.